Hello guys, welcome to my next video. Today we're going to talk about the fluorescent lights, which you probably got in your kitchen and you need to change them. Stay tuned, let's get started. In front of me I've got four lights, they are different lengths uh, and different power. For example, this one is 6 watt T5. This number tells you what size of tube uh, you are actually currently have, so you need to check that before buying my replacement on a nice bridge. I found them uh, the most suitable for my case. Uh, you might need different, it depends on as well, fittings, what you got under cabinets. Um, Alright, um, I think let's get started. Okay, let's talk about a little bit about the lamp itself. As you can see, they come with the fittings underneath, you have a uh, ballast, and some of them might have stuck, it depends what you actually, what sort of type of lamp uh, you have. There's a cable fittings and another adapter which you should use for connection if you want to connect uh, basically two, uh, one to each other. Uh, it allows you to do that. If you check your manual, usually how many you can connect in series. However, I'm not going to do that. Um, I've got already fittings uh, on the cabinet. Um, what's worth to mention is if you open this up, uh, you can see that tube itself is coated with phosphor. Okay, so inside there's a mercury itself, uh, which you need to be careful. Careful, we handle this type of lamps. Um, don't break them. And um, basically, uh, it's hazard to your health. Um, in terms of how it works, it's basically based on the gas discharge. And uh, the electrons move from one to the others. But before actually that happens, you need a starter. That's why you've seen the blink before actually um, they turn on. Okay, uh, as usual before starting the work, I uh, turn the power off, so I've got switch there. You can, you got screws here, one here on the left and on the right. Alright, so let's, this job you will need just on the screwdriver. see the ends are exactly the same so I don't need to use the new fittings for that so there's a box here okay which you can actually connect the new cable if needed just two cables all right let's use the new version Use the new ones at home, which I think is great. And let's see. Let's take this. Cable, let's connect cable first. Yeah. Right. First.
Right, we are on the last one. Okay, this is the new one, 14 watts. The old one is 13. Okay, you can see they are a little bit bigger. I wish we were right still. So there you go. Let's try to turn lights on actually, see how it works. Brilliant. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.